APC starts a new case with Peter Obi. I don't know what Peter Obi and his lawyers are thinking and what they are up to now. With all due respect, how can they reach out to the EU's report to bring it to tribunal to open a new case? It is not acceptable. We can understand why they will bring EU reports into what is going on right now. The EU report was never part of their initial plans or words against Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu. Tinubu's lawyer says, I don't know what Peter Obi lawyers are up to at the tribunal with respect to EU reports. Ozioko Onokasa reveals. Onokasa defended the 2023 general election ascertaining that the issue rising by rising up right now the eu report is totally irrelevant to this court case where nigerians were not addressed in the european union report he highlighted that the transmission of results is not obligatory and his question and he questioned the motives and re relevance of peter obey's legal team in their case by calling on and acknowledging the election lapses and acknowledging EU reports in a case that have begun before their report was released. Election lapses occur worldwide and INEC as any electoral body is not behind, is not beyond criticism or limitation. However, Jesu Tega Nokbasa, a prominent Nigerian lawyer and chieftain of the All Progressive Congress, has strongly defended the credibility of the 2023 general election in response to the European Union final report on the election. Onokbasa stated that most of the concerns raised by Nigerians were not even mentioned in the report. He specifically mentioned that the transmission of election results is not mandatory. Hear me, INEC is not God. The law does not compare, compare the impossible. There is no duty on INEC to transmit results. I don't know what Peter Obi lawyers are up to with respect to Dr. Lily. I don't know what these people are up to bringing up EU reports now in the case. And funny enough, the judges has admitted it as part of evidence. How does this, how does this relate to what has been on ground? We cannot continue to accept this to be part of what we are doing today. There are cases before the court, before EU ever came in to give us their report. What exactly is going on and why are we accepting what is happening now? They should never bring this to the court. It is not mandatory. It is not part of what we should have accepted in the first place. Why will the court accept any of this right now? This is not part of what we started with on the first ground. So, Onokpasa says he does not understand what's going on. That's clearly, sincerely speaking, how did we get here? Okay, how did we get here? How come all of a sudden this has become a relevant uh, matter in the scheme of things? He said, no, this is not, uh, this was not part of the, you know, this was not part of the, you know, uh, issue that, uh, you know, they talked about and they agreed upon. He said this was not it at all, you know. He said, so the issue right now is, 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 is that it's not clear, you know, it's not clear at all. It's not clear what these people are trying to do and where they are, what they are getting at in all of this is not clear. So because in the very first instance, nobody, nobody thought or, you know, accepted any of this to be part and parcel of what is going on right now. Nigerians said the, the complaint they had was not because uh, INEC did one thing or did not do another thing. The only issue they have is that results were not transmitted electronically. And according to him, he said it was not compulsory. It was not mandatory that INEC transmits results, you know. So these are some of the things that are going on. And, uh, you know, uh, APC is not happy that the EU report has been admitted in court. Uh, they don't see this as part of, uh, you know, the really, you know, what should be making up the report right now. They don't see it as part of what should be accepted at all, saying that, you know, there are other cases of importance that should have been looked at. But allowing the, you know, allowing the EU report to be a deciding factor of what happens to us is not a way forward. 
you see, he says not a way forward at all. Say so, um, you know, uh, these guys should not bring it up to say they are trying to, uh, they are trying to uh, bring on their case that there is no case there. Wow, so not be smart to the apple. So he said, no, there is no case there in the first instance. Say because people who have grievances have stated it, and what they are looking at in court is not because, uh, you know, uh, the election result. He said people's main concern is the transmission of results. And so they should not bring this up now, you know. So it is what it is. And um, every single one of us should know that this election that have come and gone, yet the effect of what has happened stays with us. You know, what has happened stays with us. And we don't want such things to repeat themselves. You know, Nigerians have gone through a lot. And adding to it is not what we need now at all. We don't need any of this. Not, no, no, not now, not now. Nigerians have gone through a lot already. You know, Nigerians have gone through a lot already. Anyway, my lovely, wonderful people, can you see that, you know, the days upon us are very, very, you know, it's so critical, it's so, it's so serious that we do not, you know, we, do, we should not, uh, you know, turn a blind eye. We should honestly be sincere and make things right and work for us because, uh, you know, if we, if we continue to, to push on things that is, are not relevant, we are making a mistake. So this is how we make a difference. This is how we make things work. This is how we rise up together and refuse, you know, to allow the same thing to hold us down. Okay? So this is what is important. This is what is necessary. Remember that you have a voice. And so none of us should take things for granted. Every single one of us have to rise up to the occasion and ensure that we do not allow the same thing to hold us down. Remember, it is our it is our nation. It belongs to us, and we must do everything humanly speaking possible to ensure that you know we we deliver on the right path. Yes. So please, it is what it is. Don't forget, you are also important. Every one of us must speak out and condemn every evil going on right now. The people who are looking forward in every way humanly speaking possible to bring this nation to a place of disrepute. Do they really care what happens, you know, to the individuals? Do they really care what happens to Nigerians? These are things that you must phantom in, in ensuring that truth is being manifested. Yes, God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. From us, it's bye for now. Have a good day. Bye-bye.